All right, all right, all right, everyone. My name is Echo Tango, and welcome back to Starbound. Previously, we went into the arena, defeated some enemies, and got some trophies. We also went into another ancient vault, and we finally defeated an ancient guardian. Now, today we're going to be doing some interesting things. First of which is actually right here in the Big Easy. I would actually like to be able to show to you guys Mazebound 64. Because it's something kind of interesting, and you can actually go and get an achievement for just playing this game down here. Again, in the Big Easy. And pretty simple. You wake up in a mysterious maze with some walls around you. What do you do? The, literally, the whole point of this game is just to escape the maze. So. Controls are pretty similar, or actually just your your A and D keys are just to, well, look around you, and then your W and S D's are to move forward and backwards, it's pretty simple, but that's literally all you need for this game. But where to go in this maze is a question, and I don't know where. So we got some trails here, uh, I don't know how long this is going to take me, yeah that's nothing here, wait, where, where am I going? Okay, I I came I came from that way, so let's go this way, I guess. Okay, here's another big open room. Wow, there's a lot of there's a lot going on here, and I can't remember. I know there's a specific path you need to take, and I just can't remember which way it was. But that's literally the whole point of this is just to take paths and see where they go. Find the exit, hopefully. That goes... nowhere. Yeah, see, this is, the, this is a dead end, so we don't want to go there. I wonder if I had, like, a map or something, but you think they'll just give those to you in mazes? I don't think so. Let's see where this goes. Okay, dead end. Go back here. Let's see. I know we can make it out. It's doable. It's doable. I know it's doable. But just where to go is the question. Okay, this is new. I haven't been this way before. Oh, we're out! Congratulations! You escaped the dungeon. Okay, and I got an achievement. So let's see. What is this thing we got here? We got a winning ticket. You're awarded to people who beat the game Mazebound 64, and you literally can't do anything with that. That's okay, though. Anyway, so we finally defeated, we finally beat Mazebound 64, so it's not too bad. It's pretty simple. Anyways, we gotta go to, um... Do some missions for Koichi to continue building up the museum. So, over the past, I don't know how many few episodes, I mean, it's been very sporadic, but... You may have noticed that we've been collecting items for Koichi to be giving to the museum. One time, what was it? I can't remember what it was the first. I think one of it. One time it was like a bust of a bust of Big Ape. I remember that was one. And then I can't remember what another one was. Like an, an avian scar sarcophagus. That one time. Um, but so we actually have another mission here that I that is that I currently have being tracked right now. And just to remind you what this mission was, because we got it a while ago, here's what it says. Um, it turns out Florans aren't very interested in museums. I was talking about my plants earlier, and Naru asked me what a Mesuan was. Maybe if you brought me a Florin statue from a Florin village or hunting ground, it might make the museum museum seem more enticing. Rewards, you got ourselves an upgrade module and, and augment. So, I actually do know a place where I can find one of these Florin statues, so I'll meet you guys over there. All right, here we are. We're actually here at a Florin hunting cat or Florin hunting grounds, and this is the perfect place where you can find Florin statues. The 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 Florin statues that we need to look for are somewhere down here around the center part of it. They're actually these things right here. That is one tough looking flora. I wonder if it's anyone specific. Well, I don't know, but we have ourselves a Florin statue. Now, there's not really a whole lot interesting around the Florida hunting grounds. I mean, I guess I could just show you around a little bit since I've... Since in the past, I forgot how long ago it was. Um, I actually basically looted the whole place out, killed a bunch of hostiles because this is a hostile location. 
Oh, there's actually some more statues here. And then the other side is pretty similar to that. I'm not, there's not really much else, but watch out for all the traps and all that. Ah, ah dang it. I can't remember what's up here. Something was up here. Oh, a chest, yeah. In all the hearts or each places, you'll have these chests like that. But I've already looted it. And I didn't really see anything too significant over here. But anyways, we have what we need, our Florence statue. So let's go back. I'm going to go back to the Ark, and we're going to meet you. And I'm going to meet you at Koichi. Hey, Koichi. We got yourself a Florence. We got you a Florence statue. Want to take a look? It even has a spear. Nuru will love this. I can't thank you enough. Okay, so that's another mission out of the way. But what's our next one? The glitch fascinates me. They're such magnificent machines, and yet the majority of them appear to be hardwired into an archaic mindset. Perhaps if you visit any glitch castles, you could bring me a set of arm display armor for the museum. Sure. That is, if I can find one at least. Now, of all the things that I've scanned, this, this armor set is something that I have not scanned before, and it's also because I have not visited a glitch castle before. Now... Going back to what Esther said to us a long time ago about finding glitch clues, you will find glitch settlements, including including castles, um, on volcanic planets. So that means we're going to have to go travel to a volcanic planet, I have to do some searching around, hopefully find a glitch castle. Also, I should note, glitch castles are peaceful settlements compared to glitch evil fortresses, which we have seen before. So, once I do go to a travel to a volcanic planet and find a glitch castle, I'll let you know, and so we'll be over there. Guys, I think I finally found a castle. Holy cow, have I got found a fa finally found myself a castle. I don't know if we have time to look around here, but we'll just see what it has to offer. So, yeah. Welcome to a glitch castle. Peaceful settlement. Look at this. Looks like a display pedestal. So if I guess in the castle, got a codex here. Chest here with all this good stuff. Yeah, actually, since we have that codex, go take a look at it. You can pause that if you need be. It's only two pages. Pretty good stuff. All right. Oh, also by the way, just by searching all around, all over these um, what do you call it? <clears throat> all over these volcanic planets, I did find my, I did find to uh, loot a lot of things here, and, but. That's just because it's so hard to find these castles, and finally I found one. An attractive suit of armor. I think this is what we need, the, ar the acquired arm display, but I'm not sure. Mechanical machinations, the ins and outs of it, I think I have those already. Ins and outs of it, filling up the tank, let's see, do I have those already? Let's check. Codex already known. Codex already known. Codex already known. Yeah, okay, I already know all those. Now, I'm not sure if that's it. I think this is it right here. An attractive suit of armor. Right here. This is what we need. And unfortunately, there are guards around here, so I can't just go ahead and take it. Ooh, I so badly want to take it. Ooh, look at this. This horn looks important. Why else would it be mounted? Good question. There's, of course, always a lot here to explore. Probably some secrets. Oh yeah, all the good stuff. Unless I have, probably have to take that sort of thing when no one's looking. I don't know. The prefix problem, that's another codex. Is it as of it? I already know that. The prefix. Prefix problem. Read of the B. Yep, that's new. Looking good. Looking good. I don't know if there's anything else I should take note of. Yeah, this, is, this is the other side. I had a little bit of a lag issue just there. I don't know what's going on with my computer right now. But I definitely have to save this location off. Do I have a flag? I do. Let's go on the east side. Probably, preferably the center. Hey. Can you, can you please get out of the way? Oh, I know, there's already put one down, that's why. And we'll just name this, uh... Hmm. 
you know, just just in case, you know, just in case we ever need to come back. But anyways, I mean, since there are already guards around there, it's not like we can just go ahead and steal that that armed display armor. However, there is a way that you can actually hand in these quests without actually having to steal anything. It's just by actually just go ahead and scanning them. And that's actually what I kind of want to do for these last few missions here, is by replicating items for the museum. So let's go ahead and do that. If we look up, let's see, armed display armor. Let's see if we can find that. And yeah, actually, yeah, the pixel printer does pretty lag. But here we are, armed display armor. Shiny armor stands armed and resolute. And there you go. Acquire armed display armor we have. So, as usual, I'll just meet you back at Koichi. Hey Koichi, I got yourself in armed display armor. I shouldn't be saying yourself, I should be saying you. Fantastic! My museum will be the most educational venue on this side of the galaxy. Thank you, this item is perfect. Some manipulator module and the damage augment. There is another mission though. My museum's almost complete, and I think Naru might actually be coming around to the idea. I've heard about an interesting object called an old television that would fit well in a human exhibit. Could you bring me one? They're common to human camps, but not atypical in other areas too. The funny thing is, we actually already have an old television. <laughs> yeah, I just happened to find out when I was just looking around off doing off-camera work and stuff like that. But we got, we got you a television, Koichi. Wonderful. It's so kind of you to be collecting these things for me. Just one more exhibit left now. And what would that be? The museum is almost ready, but I need one last item to complete the Hylotol exhibit. Please, can you bring me a traditional gong? They're quite common in Hylotol settlements, in both villages and cities. I shall accept, and the reward is pretty great. Now, actually, uh, for when it comes to the traditional gong, I actually remember scanning that when I, we last visited a Hylotol underwater city. So I actually have something at the ready for that. Just go up to the pixel printer. When it loads up, search, type, search traditional gong. Let's see if I can find it. It just shows up here. Traditional gong. Here it is. Hey, this gong has a big chip in it. Oh, oh, I see. It's a lily pad. And there you go. Traditional gong. Now, I'll just go ahead, as usual, and meet, back, meet you guys back at Kenji. All right, Kenji, I have the final piece of the exhibit for you. Thank you so much for all this. My collection is finally complete and my museum ready to open. I hope everyone likes it. I hope Naru likes it. You can visit the museum by using the teleporter next to the two-stop teleshop. Oh, okay, nice. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at that then. Let's see if I can just get on back over here. It's a long walk, let me tell you that. But yeah, and by the way, completing that that Questline for Koichi actually gets you another achievement, which is pretty nice. So now, let's just, I think you can just use any, tele, any teleporter. Let's see if I can find it. I don't know what it looks like. Wait. Did he say specifically to stop teleshop? If that's the case then. Hmm. I guess we have to go all the way back here then. Long walk. Let's see here. It is here. Koi Cheese Museum. Here we go. Oh, wow. Can I exit? Oh, I can't get out through here. I look at this place. Wait, I never think I've ever scanned this. It does look... It looks like a reliable door to keep things out. Or in. But yeah. Ho oh, ho, wow, look at this. Look at all this. Look at all this goodness right here. You got your avian ex little exhibit, your hyal tool exhibit, your apex exhibit, you got fountain, you got florin exhibit. You got, I guess you could say it's a human exhibit. Have I seen these? Wow, okay, these paintings we don't have yet. I read about this one. Moaning Lisa, was it? She doesn't look unhappy. And then, very old human painting. Yep, of course, very famous paintings. Mona Lisa and American Gothic. So you got your human exhibit, you got your glitch exhibit, you got your uh, Florida exhibit, and you got a lot of visitors too, which is all nice. Look at this place. It really did turn out great. 
So, my friends, that is the museum quest line for you. So I think that's a pretty good thing to take care of. And now, to end this episode off, I would actually like to do some more peacekeeping. So I'll meet you guys all back at, uh, what is it called? The peacekeeper station. Okay, actually, before we go in, there's something I'd like to address first. So I don't know if a long time ago you remember these, you know, these targets. Just, there's some targets hanging around the side of the building. And we were kind of wondering what this little compartment over here was. So when I destroyed those targets, I thought that I thought those were the only two. But apparently there is one more out here. So let's go ahead and destroy that target. It's just sitting out there, which is interesting. And guess what? This is open. Now let's see what's inside. Oh, it's pre pretty good, pretty good stuff. I mean, not necessarily what we need because we have a lot of those, but still pretty good. Anyways, let's take a look at our final mission. So, just like usual off-camera, um, I took care of all the lesser missions, and now I always like to show you the capturing of the leaders. It's time to take down the Sea Fairy Player Council for good. We picked up the trail of their leader, Jolly Acar, on Mullipin Mire 2. Make sure you're well prepared for this one. Their base is sure to be heavily fortified. Well, I shall accept that, of course. So let's go ahead and find out where this base is, and I'll meet you guys down there. Alright, so we're down here on this planet, I guess. Interesting how it's an ocean planet. I wasn't expecting it to be, for it to be an ocean planet. But it is. Anyways, our target should be, well, just over here. That's pretty nice. Can I, can I get it open? Wow, look at this place. Some salve. It's got a switch. Not much here. Alright, let's throw the switch. All the doors should be open. Come on. Alright, alright, here we are. Let's make sure one more check. See if I can find anything. Alright, let us go. This castle will teleport you to the target's hideout. Ready. Oh wow, we got ourselves a car. Let's drive. Oh, wait, wait, back up, back up, back up for a second. Oh, no, oh jeez, they're here, all of them are firing. Shields up. Run, and I kind of hit the car for a little bit. Oh, look at this place. I didn't have to see these triangles before. This wall like definitely makes our room feel cool and ready for parties. Oh for sure. Oh wow, dance dance, huh? Look at that. Something out there, I don't know if I can get there. There's someone up here. Yeah, you're a tough one, aren't you? Gotcha. Alright, check it out. I'm up here. Okay. That's a pretty big base in this thing. This life I haven't seen before. A neat sturdy lantern. Cool. And it just goes right out here. The door is leading out into an open space. Without floors. Huh. That's problematic. Gotcha. Anything else in these crates? Nope. Torture bed. TV. Have I seen this chair before? Hmm. Hop on this lamp. Oh, actually. In the stairs up here. Hazard! Oh, okay. That is a hazard. Oh boy. Ah! I see how it is. You wanna play. Gotcha! Yeah, all of these criminals, eh? A lot of them, let me just say that. I think here. Not much to loot. Alright, we're continuing up. Hop! Oh, no, no, not that. Come on. Hop! And here we got another guy. Gotcha. Okay. 
got that type of computer. Oh boy. Man, this is... Man, we're really getting up here, aren't we? We're so close to the top. We're at the top! Oh, down. <laughs> Now it's just you and me, Captain. And gotcha. If Florin say sorry, will you let Florin go? No, no, I'm not. You apprehend the Jolly A car? Excellent work, partner. The universe is just a little bit safe now. Come out of Peacekeeper Station and collect your rewards. Will do, will do. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'll meet you guys back at the station. Alright guys, we made it back to the station. Let's collect our rewards. Jolly Acon. Ah, geez Louise. We've received an assignment to take out the this Acasas cult. They seem like some real bad apples, partner. I hope you're up for this. We've set up a headquarters in the area where they operate. Alright. You are assigned to another peacekeeper department. So actually. Uh let's just I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you guys that. Once I know what it is. So, well, I'll meet you at the new station. Alright, we're almost there. Whoa. We finally hit the big time, partner. The peacekeepers are well and truly back and looking finer than ever. Well, that is good to hear. So let's go just take a look around. We've got a shop. Yeah, he's still pretty much selling the same things as last time. Oh, look at this emblem. That is a nice emblem. This is the regular peacekeeper emblem, but cooler. How much here? Yeah, let's look. we actually got a mech building station. What is it called? The mech part crafting station and the mech assembly station. Oh, this is perfect. We got land. We got palm lights, holographic trees. Who needs to go on a beachside getaway? Good question. Wow, this place has got everything. We got a vending machine. Donuts, mankind's most beloved food. There sure is a variety of them in here. Oh, I'm mean, sure it is. You got a real kitchen, cool store. This guy doesn't seem to say much, but his shop sure looks pretty cool. Oh wow, you can buy all the neon stuff, neon magenta light, neon charming, all all the good stuff. That's good to see. On the other side, you got places where you get some more mech parts, which is nice. There's there's Captain Noble himself. You got a shop. You got a bathroom. Oh, what is he selling? What's this guy selling this time? Ooh, Neo Magnum Triple Z, the final upgrade to Neo Magnum. That's good. That's good. Good stuff. Mining laser. Peacekeeper drone. That's new. Uh, Peacekeeper mech body, huh? Classic mech, a uh, classic mech body historically used by three Peacekeeper agents. Pretty cool. Let's see, what else do we got here? Red car. I think I've, I think I've seen that one before. Wow, a lot of good stuff. Oh, Neo. Oh, this is good. Neo Laser Back Arm, a range offensive beam weapon designed for Peacekeeper Agents. Let's go ahead. How many is this? 12 piece credits? Oh, that's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. That's a good upgrade to my mech. Oh, that's such a good upgrade. Oh, yeah, Captain Noble. Always keep your head up, Officer Echo Tango. Well, let's go ahead and turn in our mission. Or turn in our mission just to come here. Welcome to your new Peacekeeper Station Partner. Okay. Oh, wow. Yep. Rewards for all the cultists. Investigate the apocalyptic Acostas cult near Decimatic Crescent. And so, well, we got ourselves cut out for the next episode, guys. This is actually, this is exactly what we're going to be doing next episode. So, I hope to see. I hope that you guys are going to watch it then. And well, that being said, I think that about wraps up today's episode. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, drop a like down below, let me know how I'm doing. And if you want to see more of my content, why not hit that subscribe button? It'll help out me, and it'll help out you. So once again, thank you all, and until next time, I'll see you around.